welcome back to school. I have my hair down today because I'm feeling extra fancy. Hmm? Someone said that's not fancy. Well, well I think it's fancy. Hmm? Anyways, I'm going to eat some soup because I didn't get breakfast this morning. I was in a big rush. Hmm. That is very good soup. Okay. Anyways, kids, what day is it? Well, never mind. I don't want you to talk. Today, I have a lot of things planned, and you're not going to mess it up. Well, actually, I don't have that many things planned. Only a few. But anyways, today, we are going to start by learning how to divide decimals. So, the first step is... Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Uh, Johnson? Yes? Um, hi. Um, I'm from Mr. Piper's class, a science teacher from down the hall, and we were doing an experiment, and he kind of exploded his trash can, oh, well, and I need a bar with oh, well, just because he was using his trash Just take it and go. Go, go. Just take it. Go. Bye. Ugh. Shut the door. Hmm. Anyways, so we'll go out. Ugh. Well, the phone's ringing. Hello? Oh, you need Philbert to go to the office? Philbert, get ready to go. Oh, okay. Okay, for sure. Yeah, bye. Uh, Philbert, apparently they need you to go to the office. Why is that? Your arm needs attention? Your grades need attention, Philbert. Just go. Go to the office. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted, I'm going to continue. My soup is finished. Let's continue. So, I have my pen here. So, well, actually, I don't need a pen. I'll just use this. I thought pen. Anyways, so, the first step of dividing decimals. Here. Excuse me, Mrs. Johnson? Come in. Hi. I'm Mrs. Alexandra from the hall. I yep. only mm -hmm. have Go 29 ahead. scissors. And I have 30 students, and I'm sorry to bother you, but could I borrow a pair? Next time, make them share. Thanks. Bye, class. Oh, why do people keep interrupting me today? I'm getting very sick of this. Maybe we shouldn't do math right now. We should do something else. I think we should move on to... Let me look at my schedule. Let me see. Aha! We are going to move on to... Wait. We're moving on to history. So, I'm going to have a different teacher come in and teach you because I'm too lazy and I don't really know about history. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great time with the teacher I'm going to have come in the class. She's going to be so nice and she's going to be so nice and she's going to help you do history because I don't want to. Yeah. So you better not blow it when she comes. Understand? Is that my spoon? <laughs> understand? Good. You understand. And she is the teacher who hands out half Skittles when you're nice. Okay, guys, I'll go get her. I'll be right back. Don't mess it up for me. Okay, class, here she is, Miss Peterson. Hi, class. I'm so excited to see all you cute faces. And she brought her Skittles today, or <laughs> whatever they are. Anyways, have a great time teaching them. Bye. Okay. Have a nice break. Thank you. Okay, kids, I heard that I'm supposed to be teaching you for history today. That's correct? Okay, I'm so excited to be teaching you. Oh, <laughs> we don't need that light. The natural lighting in here is so much better for your young and eyes. Okay, so um, let me get started on the amendments. Um, let me write this down just so I know who gets it right and who doesn't so we know who needs to study, okay? So... Let's see, what's the First Amendment? Does anybody know? You? Yeah, that's correct. 
Good job. You guys, she must be such a great teacher. You guys know it already. Okay, your name is... Okay, thank you, Philbert. Okay, I recognize your name. Um, does anybody know the Second Amendment? You? Almost? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Good job! You guys already know all of this. You're so awesome. Here, for the two of you that got that right, you each get half of one of these. There you go. Yeah? Of course! And then you? Okay. Good job, guys. Okay. We were on the third one, correct? Okay, good. Um, who knows it? Ooh! Three hand raises. I'll go with you back there. Yeah, good job. You are going to say that? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are such good kids. I wonder why Miss Johnson never talks about you. She should be hyping you guys up. Okay, Fourth Amendment. You? Yeah? Good job! You guys are so awesome. Okay, let's go out of order just so we know that you know all of them. Does anybody know the 20th Amendment? Have you made it that far? No? You're on the 15th? Oh, so you're learning more. Okay. Well, does anybody know the 15th then? Does anyone remember that? You? Yeah, good job! That's awesome. Well, if you guys already know all the amendments um, that you've been taught so far, at least. Um, I don't know if I need to go over that. Is there anything else you guys want to go over? Oh, you're also learning about the presidents? Well, that's fine. Does anyone know the first president? That's a very important one. Yeah? Of course, it is George Washington. Okay. And does anybody know the second one? You? Correct! Oh yeah? You're raising your hand? What is it? The flower pen? Oh, it's her special pen? I'm sure she won't mind. Miss Johnson is such a nice teacher. No, she's really a nice teacher, guys. I'm sure she's swell. You guys are so well taught. She must be a great teacher. Yeah, Phil. Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out. That break was not good. Can I get back to class, please? Oh, yeah. Good me. job, guys. You did so great today. <laughs> I hope to see you again. Bye. That Have a nice break class, was not good. Thank you. Bye. Were you kids nice? Who turned the light off? That's weird. Hmm. Looks like she left something. What is this? A wand? That's weird. Anyways, uh, uh, Philbert, what are you eating? What is this, Philbert? She gave you candy? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna eat it. You do not deserve candy, Philbert. Why did she give you candy? You answered a question right? What? Uh, there's no way. Anyways, Let's get on with our day. That break was not a good break. I need more breaks from you kids. Oh my gosh. Anyways, getting on with our day. Well, first I would like to address Philbert's grades. Philbert, you have been getting horrible grades lately. I mean, as usual, you got an F. That I is- I grades were confidential. What, what are you doing in here? Oh, I was returning a trash can. Mr. Piper didn't use it, so here's it back. Why didn't he use it? Because he used Miss Peterson's instead. He used Miss Peterson's? What? I'm um, way better than her. Just shoot you. Bye. Hey, bye. Enjoy your trash can. Ugh. I'm so sick of all these interruptions. My beautiful trash can. They should have used it. Well, anyways, about Philbert's grades. They're so horrible. In fact, I should read them out live for everyone to see. <clears throat> Math, F. History, F. Art, F. <laughs> That's so funny. And then, oh, well, 
Looks like the rest are F's, so I don't even need to read. Oh, wait. Hold on. In Spanish, he got a D plus? <gasps> he did not get a good grade for once, everyone. False alarm, it's only because he was sitting in next to Susie in that class. That's the only reason he got a D instead of an F. <laughs> well? <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> My pen is dying? <gasps> Flower pen. Well, anyways, uh, stop looking at me, kids. You're so weird. Well, enough about Flubber. Let's get on with our day. He does not deserve for me to talk to him like that. Well, I mean, he does not deserve for me to waste my voice talking about him. Anyways, okay, kids. So we have lunch now. Let me just make sure. Yes, we have a lunch on our schedule. That is correct. Let me check off everything we've done today. Well, this is perfect. Okay. Unfortunately, it is raining, kids, so we're going to be staying inside. I'm sorry, but no games. So, yeah. We're just going to be having lunch, so you can go ahead and get your lunch out. Oh, Phil, but you don't have a lunch? Oh. Oh. Uh, Hello? Uh, oh, hi. hi. Hi, Julie. I'm Julie from the office. You know me. Um, I dropped off Filbert's lunch. Filbert, I think that's right. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. lunch, kids. Well, Filbert, here is your lunch. <laughs> uh -uh, do not reach for it. I'm going to check. Because I never get to check on your lunch pail. I'm going to make sure you have healthy food. I want you kids to be so healthy. First, we have popcorn. Hmm. Well, okay. Fruit snacks? Okay. Really, Silver? A whole thing of frosting? Why does your mom let you get this kind of stuff? I bet it's expired. Let's see. Oh, guess not. Well, still, frosting is unhealthy. Mac and cheese. Uh, we don't even have a microwave in here, Filbert. Apple juice. Apple juice. <laughs> 244 calories? That's a lot for this. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. Uh, oh, Chelsea, you have to say something? Yes? Oh, you want me to compare your lunch to Filbert's? Okay, that's a great idea. Well, here's your lunch, Filbert. Oh, yeah, for sure, Chelsea. Thank you. Very cute lunch pail. I love it. <laughs> well, let's see what food Chelsea packed. Silbert. Ooh, wow. First, a healthy apple. Love it. <gasps> Next, ooh, freeze dried apples. Lots of apples in here. Very healthy, kids. Everybody take a look. Ooh, snack. Oh, oh, almost. Uh, I'm so sorry, Chelsea. It fell apart. Uh, let me fix it for you. Oh, oh there you go. I fixed it. <laughs> This is so healthy. A chicken salad kit. Would you look at that, everyone? So healthy. Ooh, and then almonds. Wow, this is so healthy. I cannot believe it, Chelsea. You're doing so good on eating healthy. Much better than Filbert eating frosting and popcorn. <laughs> well. Well, Chelsea, I hope you enjoy your lunch. Here you go. Much better than the filthy thing that Philbert packed and the filthy school lunches they have at the school. So disgusting. That's why I always get my own food. Nope. I make my own food because I am so healthy and perfect in every way. I am such a great chef and I make my all my meals. Like, no one cooks for me. It's only me. And I never go out to eat ever because it's very unhealthy and greasy. Well, anyways... Let's see what's next on our schedule for today. Oh, right. Lunch. Well, kids, I guess you're just going to have to eat your lunch for now. And I'm just going to sit here and wait because I already have my lunch. So this is going to be a while. <laughs> Hurry up, kids. <sighs> Finally, lunch is over. Well, I <laughs> stretch. <laughs> well, hope you had a good lunch. Well, actually, I so, and now we're going to get on with our writing skills. So we're going to be writing a paragraph, and guess what, kids? It's going to be so fun because you guys get to choose what you're going to write about. So, 
You can go ahead and choose what every oh oh, oh phone call. Oh, hello? Oh hi Chelsea's mom. How are you doing? Oh oh she oh she has to leave class early? Oh that's so bad. I love having her in class. Oh okay well I'll see you later then. Bye. Thank you. Oh Chelsea, you have to leave early. I know. Well I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Chelsea, have a great day. Bye. Oh, so sweet. Uh, anyways, Silvers. Uh, today was horrible, and I'm blaming it on Silver because I think it was Silver who ruined my day. You were the excuse for everyone who was coming in my door and calling me on the phone. It was all your fault. Uh, I just want to leave school early. You know what, kids? You can just leave class early. I'm done. I'm completely done. Just leave. Uh, so sick of this. Okay, you're dismissed. Bye. See you tomorrow.